Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion and hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and today we're going to be looking at how we can stabilize mocap motion. Now this is um, something that we're always going to face when using mocap motion, especially with footsteps. We're always going to face, you know, some issue when using kind of low cost mocap systems. You can easily see foot sliding when the character's dancing or moving around. And usually users will face a huge amount of foot movement problems that they need to fix. So I'm going to show you guys how to use iClone footstep system to visualize and feet movement and fix the foot sliding problem, even modify the footsteps for custom cases. It's pretty simple to do. Now, if we come over here to the video I've got on my screen, you can see we've got the two mannequins side by side. And if I play it back, you're gonna see the character's feet are sliding uncontrollably. It doesn't look pleasing at all. And you know, it's really something that needs fixing. And again, you're always gonna face the issue, especially when you're using, you know, AI mocap data. So it's a really, really quick and easy fix. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go up to our motion correction tab. And we're going to use the motion correction feature first for solving most of the problems that we're going to face in terms of, you know, foot sliding. So what we can do is we're just going to select that and we're going to keep these parameters the same. And we're just going to lower the threshold to about four and then we can increase the reach duration and the release duration. We'll drop that down to about minus eight and we'll just hit correct. And then you'll see we're going to get the footprints come up in our screen here now. The sliding solved, but as you can see, the footprint is too strong. Um, you know, the kind of stamps look a bit awkward and a bit too strong. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and turn on our reach, our reach target here, and that's gonna allow this drop down menu here. And when we scroll down, you can see we've got the different reach targets for the different feet and the toes, etc. And we're just basically gonna use these to just really smoothen out the footsteps and get a nice smooth fine tune and get the timing correct. And it's really simple to do. We're just using the, re the reach target to set the release for earlier or a bit later in the scene. And you're gonna see how it, you know, greatly impacts the footsteps. So very quickly, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come to the point where we're seeing the most issue which is about here and then what we're going to do is again just find the moment and we're just adjusting these reach targets here so you know all I'm doing is you know setting the release time if it's too early we can delay the time and expand its duration and you know if it's too late we can tweak it manually as well and get that kind of in the right time and that's really going to kind of be what you're focusing on here you're just tweaking the timing, setting them a little earlier or a little later, and that will then fix the problem and you'll start to see the foot sliding go away and you're gonna get the perfect results that you're looking for. So um, it's not much technicality to it. It's really just about brushing through the timeline. And you know, here, as you can see, I'm just adding a little more time, bringing it in a little sooner. And you know, that's kind of resolving the issues here, as you can see, so you know, doesn't take much figuring out. It's really just about getting the timing right and you're gonna see that's gonna perfectly fix the foot sliding issues that you're facing and it's gonna get your feet perfectly on that footprint without any issues as you can see here. You know, much cleaner. Um, it looks a lot more fluid, a lot more fluent. And if we go to the before and after, you could just see exactly how powerful the tool is. You know, it's really cleaned up those footsteps. It really does make it look much better. And you can see the sliding is completely eliminated. So, you know, really easy to do. We're just using the motion correction tool and then we're just adjusting the parameters of the reach target to come in earlier or later. And that is gonna give us the results that you're seeing on our screen. So I really hope that helps. And I really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.